Tashi Delek, everyone. Uh, so before we begin, we, before we plunge into today's lesson, let me ask this simple question to all the viewers here. Uh, and I'll repeat this five times and you have to come up with five different answers each time, okay? So who are you? 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 You can pause the video and think of five different answers to this uh, one question, okay? And I'm doing this because it's, uh, you'll know why I'm doing this. All right, so uh, here, Socrates, right? Uh, one of the oldest Greek philosophers says that I am a citizen, not of Athens or Greece, but of the world. So although Socrates is from Athens, which is the capital city of Greece back then, but he's saying that he's not from Athens, he's not a person from Athens or Greece, rather he's a citizen of the world. So he consider, he thinks that he is a common human being and not just a person who is from Greece, okay? And we see he's uh, 2000 years uh, old, more than that. Now, before we read the poem, here are f here's a question. Have you ever thought of some people as strange or other countries as foreign? Foreign means a person who is from another country, right? So when you meet a new people, a new group of uh, people, have you ever felt like they are strange or they are from different country or them foreign? Yes, we, may ha we have many ways of thinking other people as different from us as them. Uh, we normally use this pronoun like we are us and them and we, then we separate them. They may belong to a different country. If they belong to a different country, we call them foreign. Okay, if they speak different language, definitely they are from, they are strange to us. And but in this poem, however, on the opposite, the poet reminds us of the many ways in which we are all the same for we are all human. Now, the poet is laying focus on how we are all similar, how we are all akin to one another. Okay, although there are differences on secondary and tertiary level but on the primary level we all are common human being who desires for happiness and uh, wants to avoid suffering so there are five stanzas in this poem and let me read each one of to you each one to you and then explain it remember no man are strange no country foreign beneath all uniform a single body breathes like ours the land our brothers walk upon is earth like this, in which we all shall lie. Full stop. So the poet is addressing and reminding us that no men, okay, when we say men, we are talking about men and women both, are strange and no countries can be called foreign, okay. The boundaries are just set up by common human beings. And beneath all the different uniforms that people wear, okay, all the different soldier uniforms or dresses that people wear from different nation, there is a single body. Our body is same which breathes, okay. Every body breathes air. So it is same there. And the land our brother walk upon. So U.S. Americans are walking on the American continent. Then there is Japanese. and But wherever we are walking, it is just this earth and after we die okay once we die we all shall lie in this same earth so we all will be buried down in the same earth or cremated so in this uh, way we are all same and similar they now they means the other foreigners and other strange people they too aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest by wars long winter staffed so they are uh, given equal amount of sunlight, air and water by nature. There is no discrimination there. Okay. And uh, if you talk about harvest, if you talk about food, when there is peace, they get, they are fed. They are fed means they are given food. Uh, they are given food during peaceful period. But during war or during long winter, people starve, people suffer from hunger during uh, war which is compared to long winter here using metaphor 
and then their their hands the people living on the other uh, side of the planet their hands are ours okay and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own so labor means work so whatever work they are doing on the different side of country of the world they are doing it to live a peaceful life right just like we we are also doing all the labor for a peaceful healthy happy life and just like us they are also doing it now you can pause your video for like few minutes and try to answer these questions these questions are from the first two stanzas there remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand now he is now again reminding us that they also have eyes which wake or sleep okay just like we do all the day and then the strength the power of people can be won by love if you show them love if you be generous and kind to them then only you can win their support in every land wherever you go on this planet earth okay this uh, particular life right where love is powerful can be recognized can be identified and understood in every uh, possible way by every human being in this earth okay you can pause video again here and think of the answer so you see that all the stanzas are reminding us how uh, in many ways we are all similar let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispossess betray condemn remember we who take arms against each other now it will continue from here so if you look at here he's telling us that whenever somebody told us to hate our brothers brothers means uh, other group of people so suppose uh, in our tibetan community we say that chinese uh, have uh, chinese have captured our land so we should hate them no they, we should not hate them if somebody is telling you such things it is uh, not a good thing it is ourselves that we shall dispossess dispossess means you are deprived of some you cannot use or some uh, have something okay you are uh, dispossessing yourself you are betraying you are lying your, to yourself and you are condemning you are finding your mistakes okay and your faults there remember we who take arms arms means weapons here okay you can see we who takes arms against each other it is the human earth that we defile defile means making dirty so we are whenever we are taking arms against each other whenever we are um, waging a war we are actually destroying this human earth our hells of fire and dust now hells of fire means anger and you can see the fires and the smoke which comes out from the uh, uh, we'll say uh, as a result of war outrages it destroys the innocence of air it destroys the peaceful air that is everywhere our own so if you look around now it is all peaceful and serene now but then if war happens it will all be uh, destroyed and outraged remember he states once again no man are foreign so we should not consider other people as foreign and no country strange because we all are human being and james kirkup has described in what many ways we are all similar and even uh, especially in our own tibetan community uh, his holiness always lay emphasis on this phrase that every human being no matter uh, from which religion or background they are they we all desire for happiness okay we all desire for one basic thing and that is happiness everyone wants happiness in their life and everyone wants to avoid we all want to avoid and get rid of suffering so if you offer suffering and happiness to other people definitely they will accept happiness and not suffering why because we all are similar in that way and these are some primary similarity we find between uh, every group of people but then there are secondary like the our religion is different the, the language we spoke uh, is different and the food we eat is also different so in those way uh, we are definitely different from them but deep down we are same and uh, james kirkup is focusing on that particular point that we should value the primary uh, similarity because other than that then people start waging war and then war will only bring suffering and uh, problem to the general public there so i hope you understand these things 
uh, we have some questions here as well pause the video and think of your answers okay to check your comprehension okay so here we have some glossary the words and their meaning if you want for now this is it thank you all for watching this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe thank you